Welcome. This video will look at how S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management supports replenishment in the warehouse. During replenishment, a quantity of a material is moved from a reserve area to a primary or forward picking area. The views, information or opinions expressed are solely those of the individuals involved and not those of the individual's employer or any other group or individual. Let us first look at the main benefits of warehouse replenishment. The main goal of warehouse replenishment is to ensure that the quantity of materials remains at optimum levels. We achieve this by seamlessly rotate materials into pickable location in line with the demand. By this, we avoid delays and reduce the risk of inaccessible inventory, which would otherwise break fulfillment workflows, and reduce the efficiency of our supply chain operations. EWM supports a variety of replenishment strategies. Planned replenishment can be run online or in batch mode. It calculates replenishment according to the defined maximum and minimum quantity. It is only started when stock figure is lower than the minimum quantity. It will round down to multiples of minimum replenishment quantity. Automatic replenishment has a few things in common with planned replenishment. However, it is triggered automatically on warehouse task confirmation. It also calculates replenishment according to the defined maximum and minimum quantity. It is only triggered when stock figure is lower than the minimum quantity. It will round down to multiples of minimum replenishment quantity. Order-driven replenishment works slightly different. It is, like planned, started either in online or batch mode. It calculates replenishment quantities according to open warehouse request quantity. It is started when stock figure is lower than the required quantity. It round up to multiples of minimum replenishment quantity. Exceeding maximum quantity is possible. Finally, we will look at direct replenishment. It is started during a pick denial when exception code points to the internal process code replenishment. It is only possible for a fixed bin scenario. Replenishment quantity is calculated according to maximum and minimum quantity assuming that bin quantity is zero. It round down to multiplies of minimum replenishment quantity. Picker performs the replenishment. In our demo we will look at planned and order-driven replenishment. Let's kick off by having a look at the master data for the material we will use for our planned replenishment scenario. We will see that our material has a minimum replenishment quantity of 5, a minimum quantity set to 40, and with a maximum of 100. Let's do a quick check of the stock situation. The storage type for our forward pick face is called Y051. As we can see, there is no stock available in the picking area. We open the Replenish Stock app. We limit the selection to one product only, the EWMA11. When we press Execute, system proposes a replenishment quantity of 100 units to the pick face area Y051. Since no stock was available, it will replenish up to the maximum quantity limit. We mark the line, press execute again, and can see that a replenishment warehouse task has been created. A quick look back in the warehouse monitor enables us to see further detail of our replenishment warehouse task. We can see the warehouse order number. We will use that later. In the detail view, we can see further details, such as the plan quantity, its weight and volume. We can also see the plan destination bin, as well as the source location. It is time to execute the replenishment warehouse task. We do that, with the RF device, remembering the warehouse order number 201.13902. We confirm source bin and quantity in the reserve area, and destination bin and quantity in the forward picking area. We end our planned replenishment example, by having yet another look in the warehouse monitor. We can see that a quantity of 100 units of EWMA11 now is available in storage type Y051. Time to step up a notch. We will now perform order-driven warehouse replenishment. We will first look at the master data parameters for EWMA10. We see it is replenished in units of 5, with a minimum stock level of 20 and a maximum of 100. Through the warehouse monitor, a look at the stock levels for EWMA10 gives the following hard facts. We have 27 units in the picking area and 948 units in the reserve area. To trigger order-driven replenishment, we create one sales order. For a customer in Atlanta, Georgia, we create an order for 40 units of EWMA10. A quantity above current stock levels in the picking area will, 
in turn, trigger our order-driven replenishment. We immediately create the subsequent outbound delivery order. This will result in a corresponding outbound warehouse request in EWM. These requests fuel order-driven replenishment. When we open the Replenish Stock app, we limit our selection to EWM A10 and the picking area Y051. When pressing Execute, the system returns with a proposal to move 15 units into the picking area. 15 is dividable by 5, the minimum replenishment quantity. With the existing stock of 27 units, we will be able to fulfill the order of 40 units. Further details on the new replenishment task are available in the warehouse monitor. We note the warehouse order number. We can also see details on the destination, as well as source location. With the RF device, we perform the actual replenishment task. We confirm the source bin location and the quantity of 15 units. When the goods have arrived in the picking area, we confirm the destination bin and quantity. The warehouse monitor confirms that we now have two pick positions in the warehouse, one bin with 27 units and one with the newly replenished 15 units. Let's move on. We revisit our outbound delivery. We mark the order line for 40 units and manually create the necessary warehouse tasks. If we drill down, we can see that the system has created two pick tasks, one for 15, another for 25 units. Once again, we turn to the RF device. We create a pick HU, then pick the EWM A10 from the two source locations, and bring them to the goods issue zone. The warehouse monitor confirms what we already know. The sales order was fulfilled through two pick tasks. The total quantity was moved together in the same pick HU to the goods issue zone. Speaking of goods issue, when we refresh our outbound delivery, we can see it is now fully picked. We press the goods issue button. Mission accomplished. And just for the record, in the monitor, accurate and updated stock levels are, of course, instantly available. The functionality shown in this video is available in S4 HANA Extended Warehouse Management, embedded and decentralized. It is also available in Classic SAP Extended Warehouse Management 9.x. Let us recap the main benefits of warehouse replenishment. The main goal of warehouse replenishment is to ensure that the quantity of materials remains at optimum levels. We achieve this by seamlessly rotate materials into pickable location in line with the demand. By this, we avoid delays and reduce the risk of inaccessible inventory, which would otherwise break fulfillment workflows, and reduce the efficiency of our supply chain operations. Thanks a lot for watching. Please comment, like and subscribe. More videos like this coming shortly. See you then.